Genesis may be one of the youngest luxury brands on the market, but the company has been getting attention everywhere. And today I'm on the show floor of the 2024 New York International Auto Show, where the company has just revealed this. This is a flagship worthy Genesis Neo Loon concept. Let's take a first look. Now, when Genesis first came to the market back in 2017, the company started out, of course, with a sedan. Basically, the uh, Hyundai Genesis sedan was converted into the Genesis G80. The company eventually followed that up with their first SUV, the GV80, and it's been a huge success. So we've been waiting for Genesis to kind of show us a flagship SUV. And this model that you're seeing here, while it is still technically a concept, is going to probably, most likely, preview the upcoming Genesis GV90 fully electric flagship SUV. So you can see, starting at the front fascia, the Neo Loon concept is going to, of course, wear the latest Genesis design themes. You have the dual light signature going around the entire front fascia. As you guys will see later on, it kind of follows throughout the rest of the vehicle. I also love how it kind of creates that almost sealed look to their Genesis Crest grill. You also have this really nice Genesis logo, which is nice and flush with the exterior paint. And then I also love this little detail here, where typically these little dots that you see in the lower front fascia are usually just like kind of like a texture detail. But as you can obviously see, they are illuminated. You have all the Genesis kind of diamonds uh, integrated into this actual uh, lower splitter area. And overall, let me know what you guys think. This car has a lot of presence to it, and that's kind of the case with every Genesis vehicle. Uh, and this vehicle becoming, you know, the flagship at some point needs to kind of have that presence to it. Now, this vehicle is going to likely be the Genesis version of the Kia EV9 and the, Hun the upcoming Hyundai Ioniq 9, which means this is likely going to be built off of the eGMP architecture. I want to also point out that I am literally speculating here. Genesis was very keen to not talk about any details Details, but we should see a production version of this vehicle within, I would say, a couple of years. You can see, looking around the side profile, it really has a lot of presence to it, and it's really going to be centered around these massive wheels. These are a 24-inch wheel, uh, very unique with this kind of bespoke looking tire. It's a monoblock design, which really reminds me a lot of a Mercedes Maybach, which I think is a very good thing. Uh, the wheels themselves, you can see kind of have like a nice little star texture to them. I also love how it's a very shiny machine slash chrome finish. I think it works extremely well with the lines of this vehicle. And you can see also the nice two line design kind of carries over into the actual fender. We've seen that before on Genesis products. Uh, there's this little side mirror here, which is supposed to be a camera. That's obviously not going to make it to uh, production. But I also want you to notice how there's very little parting lines in this vehicle. In fact, Genesis was very happy with the fact that it, it's got pretty much like a smooth finish everywhere uh, around the B pillar, around the rest of the panels. You can see on the roof here, there's a glass roof, but there's also a really cool retractable pop out um, roof rails uh, at, this, at the system here. So Genesis basically said they wanted you to have that kind of flexibility, but they also wanted it to have that flush uh, look for aerodynamics as well. So the roof rails will pop in and out uh, with the push of a button. And then looking over here, you can see this is where the two-line theme kind of continues over. The boxy shape of this car really just uh, I, I personally love, but they weren't ready to talk about dimensions yet, but obviously uh, this vehicle looks a lot bigger versus a GV80. And if I had to guess, the EV9 is around 197 inches long. I'd say this is probably likely going to be over 200 inches long, which is befitting considering this is a flagship vehicle. Now you can see it's kind of got like a two-tone paint color where it has kind of like this gray and it's kind of like midnight black, almost purplish uh, roof color look to it. And you can see also the flush lines kind of carry over here down to the actual taillights themselves. Going over into the rear of the vehicle, you can see the Genesis logo at the back here is also nice and fleshly integrated. And then there's also that same kind of texture there where it's also illuminated. It also shows off the name. Neo Loon, Neo Loon which by the way means new moon, uh, is again kind of show, for, forecasts or foreshadowing uh, the next generation of Genesis vehicles. Being that this is a flagship, this is where they kind of show off that new technology, of course. Now, uh, looking at the interior, this is again a bespoke concept. And these kind of pillarless doors that you see here, they are power. Uh, and actually when the doors open and close, it does this really cool party trick where this little rocker panel here will actually flip out and retract, obviously. This kind of allows you to kind of get into the cockpit a lot easier. And this interior, I mean, obviously this is a concept. This model here only has four seats, but it almost has kind of like a high-end luxury lounge. You can see the floor is kind of covered in an actual wood paneling and there's actual radiant heating in the floor. So Genesis says that's kind of like the Korean way to kind of heat a cabin through radiant heating in the floors and the door panels and the dashboard and the seat backs. The seats also have that ability, as you can see, to rotate uh, on the front seat area. They rotate 180 degrees to kind of create that lounge seating. And this interior is called purple cashmere, basically. 
basically. It's a beautiful looking interior color that goes well with the actual look. You can also see above me here on the roof panel, there's beautiful ambient lighting. There's those kind of curved LCD displays that you're seeing there for the rear seat passengers. Obviously that's not gonna make it a production. I expect the production version whenever it shows up to actually offer a third row seat, but this is kind of a cool design study. And then if you're looking at the dashboard here, you can see there's a massive 24.6 inch display. Now that display does move up and down vertically. Obviously the way it's up now, uh, it's kind of intruding on the dash. That is only allowed when the vehicle is stationary because as you can see, it's kind of kind of block the view out of the windshield, but you can also kind of raise and lower it. It's, when it's stationary, you can uh, have it fully out. There's also a nice crystal sphere that represents the audio, um, the a tweeter speaker for the upgraded sound system. And then the steering wheel, you can see there's a shift lever there that actually moves as well. So when the vehicle is off, it kind of sits there at 12 o'clock. If you turn the vehicle on, it automatically moves down to the two o'clock position. There's also a little screen there and the kind of interesting look to the steering wheel. But overall, obviously this being a con vehicle, I expect the production version to look very different, but I also am really surprised here, so I'm hoping there are a couple of elements within this concept that eventually makes it to production. So obviously the Neo Loon is still a concept vehicle, but again, this is a nice indication of where the uh, flagship Genesis GV90 is going to be headed. And I have to say, it gets me super excited. I've always really loved what Genesis is doing with all of their vehicles, and they've really needed a flagship electric SUV for years. So this is when it comes out, is gonna compete head on with something like the Mercedes GL, or the Mercedes EQS SUV. They also even make a Maybach version. And I have to say, Genesis really did a great job with the design. So I'm hoping that they're gonna eventually keep the production version to, uh, and keep it looking like this. In terms of powertrains, obviously we can only speculate from here. The EV9 basically comes with a 99.4 kilowatt hour battery pack and around 380 horsepower. I would estimate that the Genesis version should have that same battery pack. It'll also run on the eGMP architecture, which means it has the 800 volt architecture. So it should also be quick charging. I'd say the Genesis version will probably have at least 400 horsepower, but again, it's all my speculation. And then when it comes to pricing, we obviously don't know that yet. If you look at the EV9, that car starts at around 55,000, goes to around $80,000. I would say that when this car eventually does show up in a Genesis form, it'll start at at least $80,000 and go well over $100,000. Obviously, that's a lot, of bit, a lot of money, but if you're looking at something like the Mercedes EQS SUV, that's gonna start at around 90, going up to like $130,000 to well over 200,000 for the Maybach version. So Genesis obviously is gonna have a winner on their hands here. It's just a matter of when can they actually get this concept car into an actual production form. For Redline Reviews here at the 2024 New York International Auto Show, I'm Sofian Bay.